Hi, welcome to the discussion of isometric views of simple solids. Under this, we are constructing isometric view of pentagonal pyramid. What is the given problem? Draw isometric view of a pentagonal pyramid of base height 30 mm and axis height 60 mm resting on its base on the HP and axis parallel to VP. So here, the first step is to draw the orthographic projections of a pentagonal pyramid that is drawing top view as well as front view. Here the pyramid is resting on its base on HP. So top view it is a pentagonal shape. After drawing the top view you have to draw the front view. In the case of front view you will get triangle. This is the top view of a pentagonal pyramid that is base it is a pentagonal shape. Then after drawing the top view, then we have to draw the projectors. After drawing the projectors, we will get front view like this. So this is top view and front view of a pentagonal pyramid. Now we have to enclose the top view in a rectangle. After that, name this one as 1, 2, 3, 4. In the case of pyramid, we have to take one more point that is O. From O, draw perpendicular to 1, 2 line as well as 2, 3 line. That is, this O is used for locating the center of isometric view of the pentagon then after that as 1 2 3 4 rectangle is a horizontal all four sides are making an angle of 30 degrees to the ground line so i am keeping second point on the ground after that draw 30 degrees inclination lines left as well as right that is drawing z axis as well as x axis as in the case of top view we will get only x axis as well as z axis this is z and this is x after that with compass 2 as a center 2 1 as a radius draw an arc similarly 2 as a center 2 3 as a radius draw an arc then say 1 2 3 then we have to locate point 4 for that 2 3 line is parallel to 1 4 so at 1 draw a line parallel to 2 3 then parallel to 1 2 passing through 3 say 4 after that we have to locate the center of this for that say P and Q. So one P as a radius or two P as a radius, two as a center, draw an arc. Similarly, two Q as a radius, two as a center, draw an arc. Then say this one. P and this one Q then parallel to 2 3 passing through P draw a line parallel to 1 2 passing through Q draw another line so that it is the point 
O that is location of uh, center point is completed now we will construct the isometric view of uh, this pentagon now that is 2A as radius 2 as center say A even 3D also with the same radius D then 2 as a center 2C as radius similarly 3 as center with this same radius say A B C D then 4E as radius 4 as center then with all light lines join AB BC CD DE AE all light line that is with 2H pencil after that after drawing the pentagonal base then we have to go with the given axis height with the given axis height locate a point O this line is making an angle 90 degrees to the ground line that is at O with the given axis height as 60 mm locate O then join OA OE OB OC and OD is inside after that as the observer is looking in this direction that is front view then we will dark the required lines at the observer BC base side is visible and AB also visible next AA also visible whereas CD base side is invisible that's why it's a dotted even ED also base side is dotted then OB face edge is continuous OB face edge is continuous OA face edge also continuous OE face edge also continuous then OC face edge also continuous then OD is invisible that's why it's a dotted that's why it's a dotted here it is making an angle 30 degrees even this one also making an angle 30 degrees that's about the 
construction of isometric view of a pentagonal pyramid when its base is on HP and axis parallel to VP. Now we will move towards construction of isometric view of a pentagonal pyramid when its base is on VP and axis parallel to HP. Yes, the base is on uh, VP and axis parallel to HP. So, front you will get uh, pentagonal base, top you will get uh, triangle like this. So, as a first step, what we have to do is we have to enclose the pentagon in front you in a rectangle. Name this rectangle as 1, 2, 3, 4. As 1, 2, 3, 4, that is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, rectangle is vertical. Then 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash lines are vertical. 2 dash, 3 dash, and 1 dash, 4 dash are horizontal. So the horizontal lines are drawn at an angle of 30 degrees to the ground line vertical lines stand still. So as a first step, draw ground line. After that, draw 30 degrees inclination line towards left, that is for drawing Z axis and then Y axis, say 3 I am keeping the point 3 this 2 3 to be tilted the angle of 30 degrees to the ground line say z axis then this is y axis even we can draw x axis line also after drawing z axis and y axis then what we have to do is 3 as a center, 3 2 as a radius, draw an arc. Then 3 as a center, 3 4 as a radius, draw an arc. Say 2 4. Then we have to locate 1. For that, what we have to do is parallel to 3 4. Passing through to draw a line and then parallel to 2, 3. Passing through 4, that is we have to locate 4, 1. Say 1. After that, we have to locate the center point for this. For that, what we have to do is draw. P on 1, 2 and Q on 2, 3. Then 2P as radius, 2 as center. Similarly, 2Q as radius, 2 as center. After that, Parallel to 1, 2. Passing through Q. And this is P. Passing through 2, 3. Say O. That is location of center of the rectangle is completed. After that, with compass 2A as radius, 2 as center, draw an arc. Similarly, 3 as center, as 3D also with the same radius. Then 4 as center, 4A as radius, D. Then 
टू एस सेंटर टू सी एस रेडियस थ्री एस सेंटर विद सेम रेडियस नॉट लोकेट बी से ये बी सी डी ई आफ्टर दट observer is looking in this direction that is front view if that is the case all base sides are dark as well as continuous join ab cd ed ae bc then as the axis is horizontal the axis length is 60 mm as horizontal lines are tilted with an angle of 30 degrees to the ground line then as we already completed drawing the x axis that is making a 30 degrees to the ground then parallel to this 30 degrees inclination line passing through o with a measurement of 60 mm locate a point o then join O E, then O D, then O C, O E. All these face edges first we have to draw as light lines. Then O B. next as this base is uh, fully solid then ob and oa lines are dotted lines this line is coming back side of the base that's why it's a dotted even oa also dotted and then oc continuous od continuous oe continuous this side is making an angle 30 degrees and this also making an angle 30 degrees in this case Z axis is making angle 30 degrees, X axis is making angle 30 degrees, and Y axis is 90 degrees. That's about the construction of isometric view of a pentagonal pyramid when the base is vertical and axis is horizontal. The main important point to remember is this axis line. This axis line is parallel to 30 degrees X axis line. That's about. construction of isometric view of a pentagonal pyramid i hope everyone understood well thank you